Hello there, this is Retro Spirits Gaiden, and this is Dragon Saber on the PC Engine. And I'm playing this on a analog duo uh, on Hugh Card. Hugh Card. It's the after story of Dragon Spirit by Nam Cot on Nam Go. It's got a lovely, uh, got a lovely logo there. I do like that logo. Uh, we've gone into the option menu straight away because there's nothing more exciting than an option menu. And we've got one or two players. This is a vertically scrolling shoot 'em up, featuring a man who's just been electrocuted. He's dead then, isn't he? He's dead straight away. Oh, I think those people change into dragons. Oh, that'll be it. Um, it's the sequel to Dragon Spirit. And it's on your PC engine, it has a hue card, and it's a vertically scrolling shooter where you flame things and shoot things on the floor with bombs. It's Xevious with high fantasy graphics. Uh, the water effect here is pretty mesmerizing. Uh, we've got some spinny things. Uh, the icons in this game that you pick up immediately affect the power of the dragon, whereas in the original game they don't. We've got pond skaters here. Pond skaters have to feature in every single vertically scrolling shoot em up from the early 90s. Um, dragon Spirit is a cool game on the PC Engine, and the sequel is. Harder to come by, it's rarer to get. But essentially you do the same thing, you fly up the screen, you pick up power up pods, it increases your dragon's flames and heads. You get up to three heads, you bomb things on the floor, and you try and avoid getting shot by all the things flying around the screen. And it's a vertically scrolling shoot up. It's quite fun, I quite like these games. This is easier than Dragon Spirit as a game to play. Um, I don't think it looks quite as nice. They've done some weirdness with some of the graphics. It doesn't look ugly. It's not an ugly game. It's just not as nice as the first one. I don't know if this is actually an arcade game. I've never... I don't think I've ever played it on main. Um, so it might be a PC Engine exclusive, but I'm probably completely wrong about that. Uh, a lot of the backgrounds here are brown. A lot of the enemies are brown. Everything's brown. Apart from the dragon, which is blue. Blue and brown, the two bees. Uh, shoot the eggs. I don't know why a dragon is shooting eggs. Like, you'd think a dragon would like protect the eggs, because the dragon's a lizard and it likes eggs. But anyway, you shoot the eggs. Uh, the eggs don't release baby dragons, they release power-ups. That's the best place to keep power-ups in, is in an egg. Oh, that's the other move you've got. If you don't fire, your dragons do like an R-type style charge. Yeah, exciting, huh? So, the bosses have increased in size. Look at this giant heart with an eyeball. It's, it's a heart crossed with an eyeball. Oh, it's a genetic freak! Um, and a barnacle. <laughs> Just add a, and an octopus. Oh, it's so many things mashed together. It's uh, it's crazy. It's got like an animated... Uh, well, it's got two of two of its legs are slightly animated with a wobble. And its skin's animated with a colour cycling thing. Very strange. Um, and here's the second level. The second level takes a turn for the ugly. Uh, like I said, it's not as good looking as the first game. It's not bad. The music's quite cool. It's got like a nice little drum sample. Or however they did drums on the PC Engine in it. Oh, lovely. That background, the flashing background, is seizure inducing. Um, so it's a huge card, it comes with a nice image on the front, the instruction manual, uh, usual huge card, it's not like a massive instruction manual, it's got a couple of illustrations in it, it's all right. Uh, so I picked this up in Japan, and I think it was something like 4,700 yen, something like that, which comes out at about 25 quid. Now over here, uh, by the time it's been imported and they've charged their own profit on it, you're probably going to get it for about 40 to 50 quid, maybe. And only you can decide whether you'd want to pay that for this. The original Dragon Spirit 
game is about 10 quid in, in Japan, like 10 to 12 pounds. Because indeed, I bought a second copy so I could give my other copy to a mate who's got a PC Engine. Um, it's a really cheap, well, it's quite a cheap hue card for quite a minty hue card. Sabre, on the other hand, is rarer, so it is more expensive. Um, and you don't see it over here a lot, like I said. But I'm not sure you're missing out much if you've got the first game. And you go, uh, I want more of it. Uh, uh, I can see Sabre, but Sabre's 50 quid. Oh, am I missing out if I don't get it? No, not really. It's cool, but, you know. Is it worth 50 quid? Mm. Like I say, you're the best positioned person to decide that. I don't know what your finances are like. Uh, but I didn't pay 50 quid for it, so I'm smug. <laughs> oh, smug boy. We've got some uh, boomerang style shots here. This is, and the bombs, the bombs have gone all kind of yellow. But this isn't a permanent uh, weapon. This weapon runs out, if I remember, after a little time. Uh, or when you pick up a power up. Maybe it didn't run out. Maybe I picked up a power up. Uh, I recorded this video and I'm watching it back and then I'm kind of gibbering over the top of it. Oh, look, there's a vortex of lava. It's a magma well. Oh, don't tell me he sort of lives in a magma well. It does. It's a fire dragon. Oh, who is to believe it? Unless you saw it with your own eyes. This thing's firing three way shrapnel at me. I'm shooting it. So it doesn't actually shoot anything at me until I shoot it. It's the Salamander from the game Salamander uh, by Konami. It's making a cameo appearance. This is the first crossover game. It's, uh, it's quite well, it's more lethal than this one. It fires more shit at your face. Oh man, there was a little. Do you see that? There was like a little area there which I dodged into, which was pretty subtle. And then, oh, sneaky, and then he fired a bullet right down the middle. I had no opportunity there to move out of the way, and I'd already been hit a couple of times. This game is not as hard as Dragon Spirit, but it is a sneaky bastard. Shoot some more eggs. Um, oh, yeah, maybe if I use a charge shot a bit more, that might help. Um, okay. Yeah, Dragon Spirit's alright. If you like what you see, try and pick it up for an importer. Don't get fleeced for it though. And uh, you stay safe, right? Stay lucky. Alright then. See you.